Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a makeup look. I'm gonna just genuinely see where it takes me. I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna try and do a really colourful eye look and just then some like natural base and yeah, I just wanna put my makeup on right now, obviously how we're all doing just now. I don't know how you're doing but my family are all okay. We are just isolating as we should be and I hope you are too. Um, but yeah, I just want to make videos and do makeup and sing songs and do all this on my channel while I have loads of time to do that. Well, I feel like I can do that. Um, I want to get ready for my day even if I'm staying inside because it makes me feel more productive when I have makeup on like dry bits in between here because if I do my eyebrows first then I need to carve them and then I need to put foundation on I mean I guess I could do eyebrows and then foundation and stuff but I just think that's weird I don't know so anyway I've now moved on to to base products first like all of my base and then my eyebrows and then my eyeshadow so I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Foundation and I'm going to mix it because apparently I like mixing foundations right now I'm not sure why with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation because this one's a wee bit darker so it's got more coverage which I like but it's not going to be too dark because I've used the other one to lighten it I think that's why I'm doing it Where's my brushes? Behind me I don't know if they're behind me to be honest but apparently they are Okay, I'm going to take a wee brush just to mix it on the back of my hand and apply that on my face. If it's too dark I'll add a different, a lighter one. I'm going to add a bit of a lighter one but I'll do this just now. A little bit of this really light ordinary foundation just to add over that. So apparently I'm mixing three now, don't know why. We could just use the lighter one, apparently not though. I'm also using natural light right now just because it, like I'm right in front of a window but if it does go dull I might have to put my ring light on but I didn't want to do that I just want to use natural light to do my makeup for once because I usually do my makeup like, at stupid times of the night so I usually need to use my light but right now I don't so um, I don't know if this video is going to go out before or after the vlog I just did but I'm yesterday I recorded my whole day because I just wanted to do a video where I'm kind of showing what I'm doing during this time what kind of things I'm doing to pass the time and what kind of things that people can do to pass time because obviously it's very boring um a lot of people aren't working obviously there's key workers still working and people working from home and stuff but there's still quite a bit of free time for most people um, today I'm definitely going to go on a walk in a bit like I need my bit of exercise for the day and I'm going to I think I'm going to go on a walk but I'm going to take my camera and start taking photos because I really think that it will get me motivated to take photos and to maybe paint the photos I take or something like that something creative because I just my like outlet is really creative things as you probably tell, like singing, I want to do more music as much as I can. Like, I really want a ukulele just now. Like, I'm so tempted to get a ukulele, um, just so I can sit and try and play that. Like, try and learn to play that, and then write some new songs. Um, like, I'm just trying to think of different ways to keep motivated and keep being creative. Like just now, I'm waiting to hear back from universities. Um, well, a university, not universities. I've got into college doing makeup, but um, 
I got into college for a makeup course, but I'm also I've also applied for a painting course at university in Aberdeen, and I if I don't get it, then I know it was because I was supposed to do the makeup course. But if I get it, I know it's supposed to like. Do you know what I mean? I kind of have a wee bit of faith, um, faith in the fact that whatever happens does happen for the reason of that's what I'm supposed to do. So I am gonna let fate decide kind of thing that sounds weird but I know what I mean oh I was using the LA Girl Pro Concealer by the way didn't even say that and I do want to just let like whatever comes comes and if I don't have an opportunity like if I don't get the uni opportunity then I wasn't meant to be and I'm okay with that there's also the fact that I'm not even sure what I want to do yet. Like, I've always wanted to do music related. I've always wanted to do music related things, but doing music at college did not work out for me. Um, there was quite a few reasons why it didn't work out for me, but um, one of the main ones was because I'm not ready to perform, I guess. I'm not ready right now to be on a stage and to be singing for a lot of people. I'm just not. And when I say that, I mean like, I don't know who I wanna go deep, but I'm basically a really anxious person. Of course, everyone gets, gets anxious, but I felt when I was there that I was the most anxious I've ever been in my life. And obviously it's because it is a performing course and I did have to perform like most days, um, which, I don't mind singing in front of people. Like I could say, if someone's sitting beside me, I don't mind singing like while they're there. It's the kind of stage thing that freaks me out. I guess I do have a bit of stage fright. Um, but even like, I don't mind singing in a room if I'm sitting down and there's just music on and everyone's there, cool, that's fine. But it's when I have to like, get up and stand in front of everyone while they're staring at me, while it's silent and then music goes on and then I'm like the focus of it. I guess I just don't want to be the centre of attention. I guess that's what it is. And I have a bit of stage fright, I guess. Even though I have I have sung on stages before in front of audiences. I have. But when I was doing it, I felt like I couldn't do that. I felt really anxious about it. I don't even think I spoke about this, but you know, there it is. Um, so it wasn't a great fit for me at that time. But it doesn't mean it can't be ever. It just means right now I'm or oh, it just means at that point I wasn't ready. This was in November. I'm talking like I left in November. Um, so yeah, like I still think there are definitely gonna be other opportunities singing wise and I'm gonna hopefully break out of this anxiety based thing or I'm gonna learn to deal with it better and maybe get a bit of help I don't know but I think it's fine to talk about these things we're all anxious we all have our own issues like problems whatever you want to call it and it's fine to talk about we should talk about it and I want people I think people should talk about it as they are doing more so now which is good, so there's that too. I'm not going to powder my face, like just, just set my face with the RCMA like clear powder, no colour powder. I've had this for like seven months and it's not even halfway empty and I use a lot of it, like I literally pour the shit out every day like, and use so much. for under my eye and around my nose area because sitting around my nose piercing sometimes is a bit difficult. I am now going to bronze my face with the Bourjois Chocolate Bar Bronzer. I think that's what it is, yeah. Which just looks like this. I've been using this one but it is lighter than Hoola so I've been using that and then going over it with a bit of Hoola just to add more. I could just use Hoola but sometimes it goes a bit heavy and I don't want it to look heavy so also Hoola, I went off of Hoola for a bit but I'm back at it. I'm 
not going to take her at all. I'm just going to go in with some blush just to add more to my cheek. Okay, so this is the Revolution blush palette that I got God knows how long ago. Only ever used this because I, I used to have a thing where I absolutely could not stand or understand why anyone would ever wear blush. Well, like anyone who has naturally red toned skin would wear blush because then you're bringing back the pinkness that I was trying to hide. That's what my thought process was. Um, I didn't realize you can get blushes that weren't like pink, apparently. And now I actually do like a bit of pink on my cheeks. I just thought it would make me look like more red than I was and I didn't understand it. But now I really like blush and you get ones that are not pink. So I try and do like a mix between a few just so it's like an even and out even out some colour. Because it really matter. Tap off. I even put a wee bit on my nose just to add some colour. And that might be a lot to some people but I don't actually like care anymore. I just like having dark cheeks so it takes away from the fact that I'm very very pale. I'm gonna bake a wee bit. say this um highlight in space baby it's a very very metallic blue i've never really done a blue highlight do you know what i mean that when i say like it's really like i love it i don't know obviously it's a bit of a, like a bold every day but I'm not going anywhere, so it's fine. Just if this is going to help my skin or not, I'm going to spray some setting spray because my base is done. I don't really care about setting spray on my eyebrows or eyelids. You know what I mean? I already set my eyebrows and everything else. I don't really mind. So I'm just going to spray this. It's the NYX Dewy Finish. Um, long lasting setting spray. So, I hate doing that, but if it works, it works. It's a joke. Revolution Pro, ooh, Pro, um, eyebrow pomade. Um, this is very dark for my eyebrows, so I'm gonna try and do it with a light hand, but it doesn't necessarily go well every time. <laughs> You know what that'll do? That's actually quite decent. And it's a decent colour. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll do my other eyebrow off camera very quickly. Okay. Um both eyebrows completed it and I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with concealer now. So gonna use this is everything I have is actually covered in makeup. I mean I'm not surprised but really Revolution Pro Concealer Kit, just because it's the easiest thing to use and it has every body shade I need. The M432, which is just like a flat brush to carve my eyebrows. I'm going to take 
a mix between this colour and actually no, I'm going to take these two end colours here just because they look dark enough yeah, this colour is good literally just like that and then bring it down my eyelid get my powder again on the sleeve brush to set that once I've blended this in and then set it Okay, I've done that, so I'm now going to take the James Charles X Morphe palette. I don't know how to say Morphe, right? This again, everything I use is dirty, but this palette, and I'm going to do blue. I don't do blue. I don't think I've ever done blue. But they don't even look touched, so I'm going to see. Oh, I think I've done blue once, because this is blue. Never mind. <laughs> Let's try this. I'm so nervous about this. Oh, should I transition first, or should I just go in with blue? Okay, so I'm going to do this shade of blue, which is this one right here, this one, on a Morphe M433, and I'm going to just put the outer V just now. Like that, and I'm gonna take blue next to it. So this one on the same brush again. Uh, right there, and blend up. I think that's natural, really nice. But I need to get rid of this blue underneath. I'm going to take my P. Louise base to do a cut crease. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Bit one. I'm gonna just drag the blue out a bit 
So we're back in with the same blue, the dark blue I was using before, on this brush to drag By putting a bit of black eyeliner up to it, this could make or break this whole thing. If it breaks it, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try my best to do eyeliner now. Bear in mind, I'm shit at eyeliner. That's not awful. It's not the best thing I've ever done, but you know what? I'm just trying to enjoy my life. I don't know why I keep justifying myself. with it. I'm now going to do the other eye and then put mascara on. So I will be back when that is done. Okay, I've attempted to do both of these. This one's a bit meh. But I'm just going to put mascara on now. I'm using Maybelline Total Temptation mascara. And I'm literally just going to put mascara on and then think about eyelashes. I think that's alright, I'm going to do bottom eyelash, mascara and eyeshadow, eyeshadow, I don't know why I said it like that, and then put lipstick on and take my hair down and see the final results. This week, this week, hold this gold and just stamp it in the inner corner and the same on the other side. Got three nude mm, lipsticks from NYX here that I'm going to put one of these on. So there's these three. I might just do the dark one and then the light one in the middle. And I just threw it, apparently. Is that too orange? Oh, no, that's fine, I'll be alright. I'll be right. It's very interesting. I'm, I'm, I don't know how I feel about this, you know, but okay. And I think this is done because I don't know what else I can do with this. Um. It's just a bit fun. I just tried to do something different. It's a bit out there. I would never wear this out personally. Just because I I just 
wouldn't wear I would wear bright colours out but I wouldn't wear this kind of extended line kind of thing. I wouldn't wear that out. But I wanted to see what it would look like and actually it's it's alright, it's nice. But not for me. But I did enjoy doing it and I will post it on Instagram, so go follow my Instagram, it's just Chloe Kinlin. Oh no, it's Chloe Louise Makeup 16. Or I think you should find it as under like yeah, that is, it's Chloe Lee's Makeup 16. I don't like that I've called it that, actually. But that's what it is. I'll leave everything linked below. If you enjoyed this video or want to support me, give it a like. Um, and subscribe if you're new or if you've not yet already. Um, thanks for watching.